So we get a design brief when we start. It should be a performance-oriented low car. That might be your brief. And then slowly we funnel down from a very, very broad perspective. And in the end, he's really into like the final small little nitty-gritty details. The main challenge in taking a concept into production is always that when you do the concept, you have less restraints. You don't have seatbelt travel. You usually don't have the seat travel. You have a fixed seat. You don't have knee clearances to things. So you can design quite freely what you want to express, what you want the form language to transform into. Then you need to look at all the restrictions and try to interpret that into a production piece. And on top of that, you've got all the technical parts that fit in here. There's a huge amount of technical details, all from ducting, electronics. There's so much restricting factors in trying to achieve. That is the challenge in trying to make that as true to, to the initial idea as possible. We're working on the complete interior of the car. We usually have different areas that we focus on. So now at the moment I'm working on the tunnel console. From the beginning it, it doesn't look like this. It's uh, when I paint it up in, in, uh, in digitally. So, so I do a print screen of the CAD data. So then I change all the areas how I want it to look. So, and then we go back to my modeler and uh, he can build it and we send it to engineering and they take a look at it. We can get from engineering that, okay, we have a problem here. You know, we need a cog wheel uh, this size and it needs to be, be placed here. Uh, and we say, okay, we, need, we want to move it because th that's going through our A surface. Then we work back and forward with them and say, okay, this is what we want to achieve and say, okay, you can't really get that. But if we do something like this, then we get closer, and it's like a, a negotiation all the time. These sort of back models, volume models, we make in order to uh, understand the volume, understand the design theme, and test things, like test reach, and, you know, does it work the way you intend when you've drawn it on a piece of paper? It's very much an evaluation tool, both of the form and the volume, proportions, as well as function, you know. Does it actually work the way you're hoping it to work? You can 3D print parts and paint them and dress them and it will look, you know, more or less like the production car. But you also, sometimes you work in clay uh, and then you can actually, you, you mill it out, you have a look at it and you can modify it and then scan it and then redesign the data according to your changes. There are so many different areas where there are different people and competencies which have an influence and input on how we execute things. 